thank you for talking to me. Yeah, well, I figure I'll be safe. Everybody's watching your every move. Well, now they're watching you. Maybe I like being watched. Well, I'm watching you. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. In this bar. <laughs> Picking up and reading it, what was your response to the material? It's the way people talk to each other. And it's very rare to find that blend, that merging that's believable, instead of it just being, let's cover the exposition and you're gonna answer my questions. And I'm gonna answer yours. Mm -hmm. We already had that template, but Oren Moverman, the director, brings uh, a freedom. It's like he grants you clemency from yourself. Stop fixating on a choice within a compartment and a, go play, show me things. It's, it's a sport, and you can do any play you want. You just have to stay within these parameters. I thought it was just going to be the dirty cop film. And really, it is far more about a guy who is defined by the women in his life. And by yeah. the way he reacts to them, and by the way they call him on his shit constantly. Oren is incredibly Socratic in his process that, you know, we don't... We know what we don't know. It's about the repercussions of actions, and it's also about a, a broken man who, because he's so broken, attracts these strong women who want to fix and mend because that's what women like to do. It focuses on the stories often of the women who are coming into Dave's life and the two women that were in his past because we're both married to him. But he, I would very much say, is defined by the choices he makes for his life <laughs> and his addictions and his, you know, on and on and on bad choices. And I think the women surrounding that are part of the need, needy, neediness, addiction, and lack of respect and responsibility he feels for himself and to his family. What is that process of bringing everybody in and getting everybody to that same level of comfort and communication? I am very lucky in the sense that there was something very visceral that I had with Oren from the second that I met him. Um, so it be we became very close and had a very deep understanding of one another from the very beginning. And I think that has a lot to do with him just being, in all respects, a great parent and a great nurturer. And, a, and so he if you are cast, lucky enough to be cast in one of his films, it's because you are, he believes that you have the ability to do it and he instills the confidence in you to do it and to do it on your own. And every so often he'll ask you questions and he'll help you build it, but at the end of the day, like you're standing on your own two feet and it makes the whole process feel so satisfying because you finish something and all of a sudden you snap out of it and you've, you know, they've said cut and you're standing somewhere that you don't remember how you even got there, and then you've got this like looming, like wonderful man coming over and giving you a hug. It's just the, the perfect, you know, dichotomy. You guys are all such sharp people. Um, playing those really tough, raw scenes like that, is, is there just a, a sense that you gotta let the brakes out and see what happens? When you're in something that's so full, which is what this story was, and I could see, you know, what he's doing, obviously, you just want to be able to do it too, you know what I mean? <laughs> like it's such a, it's such a powerhouse moment of, of uh, fear. <laughs> I assume uh, you heard something about the LACMA uh, uh, live reading of The Princess Bride recently. Just to see how that piece of material, which is such a deep resonance with audiences, um, can still live and breathe with that new cast and, and to have that, that experience. Um, did you go or, or were you, did you hear about it ahead of time or, or after the fact? I just heard right now. Oh, really? No idea. Oh. What do you mean new cast? Oh, a cast that they, read it. They did, Jason Reitman did a live uh, staged reading of it with a new cast reading it. Um, and Carrie huh. Elway stepped in as Humperdinck, um, huh. which I thought was interesting. Rob Reiner did The Grandfather. Another 20. Yeah. They'll do it again. It'll hold forever.